Trimming and stringing clips together is often done in video editing applications, but can Adobe XD take on some of that load? Let's find out. Here's part of a video streaming service I've been working on, and for this screen, I'd love to include a preview of the show playing in the background. But taking a quick look at the clips I've been provided, they're certainly on the shorter side, so they may need to be stitched together. Dragging the first clip into the rectangle I've set up, I'll dive into this object mask, then make sure it's set to play automatically within the properties inspector. Now, launching the preview, the experience looks pretty good, but since the clip is just a few seconds long, it'll either freeze at the end or continue looping depending on the option set. To start the process of creating our sequence, let's convert the existing video into a component, either within our document assets, properties inspector over to the right, or the commander control K shortcut. What we'll want to do now is add on a new state for each additional clip, and once the next is brought in, it should also be set to play automatically, and looping turned off. I'll now quickly go through and create a few more states for the remaining clips that I'd like included in the sequence. And since we'll be linking them all together in just a moment, it's completely okay if they're not added in order. Alright, with all of our clips ready to rock, it's time to wire them up. From the default state, we'll want to switch over to prototype mode, and locate the existing interaction that allows our first video to play once the artboard loads. Next, clicking on the plus button will add on an additional interaction. Then from the properties inspector, end of playback should be chosen as the trigger, and the second video's state as the destination. Since we're looking for quick cuts, setting the type to transition and the animation to none should work well. Perfect. Before we start wiring up the rest, let's take a quick peek. Launching the preview, the first video automatically plays back. Then once it reaches the end, the transition to the second takes place. So far so good, but the second clip feels a touch long considering the third is full of action. To help with this, let's switch back over to design mode and hop into the HUD or heads up display for this video. Here we're able to trim the selected clip to set new start and end points. And for this example, I'll cut a touch off the end and click the check mark to apply. With that set, I'll go through and wire together the remaining clips, following the same process as the first two, and either cycle the last back to the beginning, or have it freeze once it completes. As a reminder, you'll want to switch to prototype mode, add a new interaction to the video, then make sure end of playback is chosen as the trigger, and the destination is set to the next state in the sequence. This third clip isn't too long, but I'm going to trim it just a touch off the end to keep the sequence moving nice and quick. And I may even hop into the fourth and do the same. This clip kicks off with a nice wide shot, but shifting the start point will help get right to the action. Alright, the clips are trimmed and the states are wired up. It's time to see the entire sequence in action. And through the magic of the end of playback trigger, all videos automatically transition to the next destination once the playback is complete, leaving us with a pretty solid looking result. And that's how you can tackle basic video editing using Adobe XD. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe for more content. Follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you all next time.